and today I'm going to show how you can use place value count counters to learn short division, also known as bus stop method division. I'm going to start with an easy number, then show you how you can divide any two digit number this way. First let's try 84 divided by 4. I've drawn my bus stop on my whiteboard and inside I'm going to make 84 using tens and ones counters. In 84 there are 8 tens and 4 ones, so I'm going to use 8 tens counters and 4 ones counters. As we're dividing by 4, I have written 4 outside the bus stop. As we're dividing by 4, I'm going to start by dividing my tens into groups of 4 and then my ones into groups of 4. I'm going to see how many groups of 4 tens I can make. We can make two groups of four tens counters, so I'll stick two above the line. Now I'm going to see how many groups of four ones I can make. We can make one group of four ones, so I'll stick one above the line. Two tens and one one is twenty-one. So 84 divided by 4 equals 21. I can show this as a written method without the counters. Now I'm going to try a tricky one. This time I'm going to work out 72 divided by 3. I'll need 7 tens for the 70 and 2 ones for the 2. I'm going to do exactly the same as last time, but this time as we're dividing by 3, I'm going to put the tens into groups of 3. two groups of three tens but this time I have a problem I have one ten counter left so I can't make another group of three I'm going to have to exchange my ten for ten ones and put them with the two ones I already have we now have twelve ones which I need to divide into groups of three 72 divided into groups of 3 gives us 2 tens and 4 ones which is 24. We can show this as bus stop method without the counters. We can show the 1 ten we have exchanged for 10 ones by writing it as a small one in front of the 2. This tells us we now have 12 ones. So 72 divided by 3 equals 24. Why don't you pause the video and have a go at some yourself? I'm going to give you the answers in 3, 2, 1. For 93 we need 9 tens and 3 ones. As we're dividing by 3, we need to put the tens into groups of 3 and then the ones. The 9 tens divide into 3 groups of 3 tens and the 3 ones divide into 1 group of 3 3, 3 tens and 1 1 is 31. So 93 divided into groups of 3 equals 31. We can show this as the stop method without the counters. We can see from this that 93 divided by 3 equals 31. For 65 we need 6 tens and 5 ones. As we are dividing by 5, we need to put the tens into groups of 5 and then the 1s. The 6 tens divide into 1 group of 5 tens, but this time we have 1 ten left over, so we need to exchange the 10 for 10 ones and put them with the 5 ones. The 15 ones we have now divide into 3 groups of 5, so we have one group of five tens and three groups of five ones, which is 13. We can show this is the start method without the counters. We can see from this that 65 divided by 5 equals 13. For 84 we need eight tens and four ones. As we are dividing by 7, we need to put the tens into groups of 7 and then the ones. The eight tens divide into one group of seven tens, but we have one ten left over, so we need to exchange the ten for ten ones and put them with the four ones. 
The 14 ones we have now divide into two groups of seven. So we have one group of seven tens and two groups of seven ones, which is 12. We can show this as bus stop method without the counters. We can see from this that 84 divided by 7 equals 12. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!